Hello, once again, Balsa Model Builders. I'm going to put together the Piper Super Cub. Going to radio control it. I just got this in the mail just the other day. There's your cowl. Some instructions, some tissuey stuff. Everything comes together real nice when Gilos sends you a project. Here's the, the major instructions. Something about model parts aren't included. I guess that's got to do with gasoline or gas engines. Don't do those. Here's your decal set for the wings. And of course all the odds and ends. Oh, they even package these really nice now. And of course they're all laser cut so they just come together so well so anyway we're going to rc control this little guy and it's probably going to be 10 12 i don't know how many different videos i'm going to have to put it together but that's uh that's my next project so stay tuned and we'll get her going Okay, continuing on, uh, some of my favorite tools, Exacto and this really cool balsa cutter tool. Cuts on angles and it's super sharp blade. It cuts that stuff real nice and even. Nice little tool there. And of course my little pins and toothpicks. So what I've done to this point, I've got the I believe it's the right wing layout pretty well put together I left out I guess they call them the formers here in the middle no those are the ribs I'm sorry I left out some of the ribs cut down on the weight a little bit because I am gonna like I might have mentioned I'm gonna radio control this thing and I'm going to cut out as much of that extra weight as I can so that the uh, electronics and whatnot don't don't overburden it in the sense of how much it weighs. Okay, so we'll get back and uh, get this uh, left wing put together. Okay, I got the, I got the right uh, wing, as I said earlier, all pretty much put together except for some little details and cutoffs. And I got the left wing coming together. I'm going to put some spars on this shortly. And then we'll have both of those guys uh, good to go. Okay, here we go. I got the fuselage uh, put together with the formers. Much like the picture shows. Then we'll put on the those window frames here shortly. And then we'll get to be looking something like that. I'm so amazed at this balsa material that's been uh, laser cut. The quality is so good. The pieces fit so well. One a year or two ago, I built some uh, gilos and they were die cut and they didn't fit near as good as these do. So I'm pretty impressed. Things go together really well. They fit so good. 
Makes for a really good quality product. Okay, here's my update. I've got the uh, fuselage pretty much completed in most regards. Pretty darn sturdy piece of product right there. The uh, They're kind of weak, you know, the pieces, parts when you put them on there first of all, but when you get a bunch of them on there in place, it just strengthens that thing up so nicely. Really good. Anyhow, the got the wings ribs in place in some cases I took a uh, hole punch and punched out some excess uh, material on the leading edge or the rear edge or whichever you call it and uh, I did that on both lighten them up I've uh, started to get the rudder together I'm gonna hinge that Still figuring out how that's all going to come together and look right and work right. And then I've got my uh, little two gram servos. I got one for the rudder, one for the elevator, and they're going to go in in this guy here somewhere. Haven't quite figured out where yet, but I'll base that on uh, where I need to keep my center of gravity. So that's where I'm at at the moment, and then uh, we'll keep moving on. Got the stabilizer and the rudder put together. Have them ribbed. Gonna do the Dremel on the edges here. On both sides. That way I can start tissuing those. I've also got... Uh, oops. <laughs> I've also got these hinges. Let me get these here real quick. I got hinges, which I'm going to put one on this side, one on that side, and I'm also going to put hinges on the uh, the rudder on the back. Stick one there and one there, and do the same with the Dremel on those. Clean them up, get them tissued. Got the wing struts put together. I'll do a little bit of Dremeling there. So that's, uh, that's progress at this point. One of the more difficult things to do on a model of this size and weight is trying to get pieces to fit and uh, do lightweight pieces. So what I've done here is I've done two, two gram servos, which are gonna control my rudder an elevator out back which helps with weight I've also uh, hooked up a little uh, servo controller here or tester there's my little battery my little Protec 2 cell and I've got it connected to this little servo tester which simply Things can get kind of clumsy. Anyhow, I can control the servos by plugging them into the side of the tester, leave them on the uh, manual control, and use the little knob guy there, where I can then work on getting my servos centered. Which then, of course, is going to control the, like I said, the, the rudder and the elevator out back here. It's really tough getting uh, these little pieces to fit where they don't bang into each other. And where they also don't stick out the side, because when I put the ribs in, i got to get room there for the the ribs to fit along the outside edge of both sides. I've also used on my servos a core of 0.25 music wire, which is what I've got there. Super small, lightweight, easy to bend, and it works uh, 
real well with uh, the configuration that I need. So once again, the hardest thing about a model of this size is getting everything to fit. I know there's different ways of doing it. And I've got room here for a, probably a receiver and a battery. And uh, I'll have no servos on the on the wing itself. Everything will be controlled by the, the rudder and the elevator out back. So well, that's how I got those in there. You know, I've got them in the moment. I've just got them super glued in place. I think maybe they'll stay if I use a, a little bit more super glue. Uh, and of course cuts down on the weight because I don't have to use the screws to screw those little servos in place where I've got them set on the little rivlets there anyhow that's uh, that's how I've done that okay you get the uh, rudder assembly I got it ready for some uh, tissue work I've installed the hinges on one side then I'm going to tissue I'll tissue this on one side I'll attach it to the other half and then I'll tissue that do the same with the rudder I've gotten the two wings tissued on one side I like to tissue the bottom side first because then I can cut the edge here just fold it up over such like that and then I can put the tissue on top and then I can complete both of those but I'm not going any further till I determine where uh, any additional parts need to go so that's where I'm at at the moment squeaky chair and a couple modifications I took off the uh, two five gram servos I had in this thing uh, I've got a couple two grams I'm gonna put in instead save some weight I'm gonna use uh, this battery I've got this motor for the propeller and I built it on this little mounting piece so it'll go onto uh, what I've done here is this guy here will go on just like so and I've extended the front here a little bit so that the cowl can slide on and then the motor, when it goes back on, will stick out just enough where the prop will point outside the uh, front of the cowl. I've got the uh, little 10 amp speed controller. Like I said, there's the battery. Here's my uh, receiver. Got all that stuff. This is over here is the, the prop I'll use. I've got the rudder. I got it ready for uh, putting together so I can get the hinges there to work. Then I've got the one side of the elevator done. Same thing there where I can use the hinges so I can get this thing to do the up and down and this one on the air go back and forth. So that's the progress I made there. I've also got a cut out of, this is the template that came with the plan for the windshield. So I did a double, like you see here. So what I'm gonna do is take this and lay it on that plastic that comes with the model. So I can do this and wrap this on top and then wrap it on the other side. So I got one piece as the windshield. So that's, uh, where I'm at at the moment. Okay, a little test. Got my little uh, servo tester connected to my two servos.
working good. Got my receiver there in place. I'm going to put the uh, <clears throat> speed controller somewhere, I believe, in this location here. Try this somewhere in here. So it can connect to the motor, connect to the battery, and to the receiver, and the battery. I'm going to try to find a little nook in the bottom here for the battery, so everything will be fit into a place where they're probably closest to center of gravity. Lots of good throw, so we got a lot of good movement going there too, so that'll work out well. Another test. I got my uh, fly sky set up for my Piper. I got the two servos connected to the receiver. I got the motor connected to the speed controller. So I've got uh, rudder, elevator, motor. So, got all the electronics, and then I just figure out a way to get the rest of these things inside, and here we go. Okay, update. Here we have uh, the rear landing gear. I've got the front landing gear in place, mounted on that former. The rear landing gear, it's going to go... here in the back side in this location here so it'll be the, le the rear landing gear get that in place shortly I uh, got the receiver in place got the motor wired up and connected to the receiver running in the right direction I'm going to remove that battery connector there and I'm going to mount another adapter on this wire here, which will connect me to this JST connector. I originally had this device, which extended that to this, but it added too much weight, too much space was taken up. So I'll use this with an adapter on here, so that way I can just plug the battery straight into the receiver without all the extra added weight and, ex and uh, amount of space this thing will take up so that's uh, where we got it right at the moment stay tuned for more like I mentioned earlier I took a uh, piece of the plan that showed just half of the window layout I doubled it up like so and I took it and laid it on the plastic sheet Actually, I put the plastic sheet on the top, like so, and I'll cut that out, which I can then put here on the uh, plane itself, get that to come back to this point here, and then I'll tissue up to this point here, and I'll just cut this off where necessary to fit. So, let me go ahead and I'm going to cut that. I've also got uh, my uh, elevator and my rudder all 
tissue that I've taken one side and put some easy dope from both of those. I've also got my wing. Right now they're drying. I've sprayed them out with alcohol water mixture so they can dry out and get nice and, and tight. And then I'll do some easy dope on uh, those as well. So there we are. Here we have the tissueing is doll done on the uh, fuselage. Looks pretty good. I'm not the best tissuer in the world, but I get it tightened up. It'll probably look better. I've got the uh, the wings are pretty much done. I got them easy doped. I put on a couple layers of straight easy dope. Feels really good. It's nice and strong. It's still lightweight. So I like the look of that and the feel of it. Got the rudder done. Got a couple of coats of the easy dope on there. Got the hinges and all that working right. So that nice and strong. Feels good. Looks good. I got the uh, windshield cut out from the little template I made. And I'll get this hooked up on here shortly. Probably put that on here in just a little bit. I've got the uh, elevator all easy doped. I've got the little connector rod uh, device right there in place. This will go here as such. Let me flip this over real quick. There's my little connector, and then I'll take this wire here that controls the uh, elevator. We'll connect it to this little guy here. And the other one, of course, is going to go to the rudder. We'll get this glued and cleaned up and looking better. So that's uh, where we've got stuff up until this point. All looking good. Moving forward there. <clears throat> I took some 3 16 inch dowel and I cut two pieces and I've stuck them here between the wings for extra added strength and durability. And then they slide into position here. Get this camera just right. Slides in like so. And the other one will slide in like so. Push this one back. There we go. So they're going to be good and tight. And then we'll super glue the wings on. So that gives those wings some really extra durability and strength. So that looks that looks good right there. So that's a trick to help and get the wings pull that off real quick. So I got that right there like so. This one off here. Then they go in between there. So let's have a that's how I strengthen that up. It's gonna help a whole lot, I believe. Okay, you got the wheels put on. Got the wings attached and the braces. Trying to figure out what, if anything, I might do to paint this thing. Got the linkages hooked up in the back. Need to trim those two little wires right there. 
when they were working I had to build an extended tail rudder for some reason the one I had was too small I don't know why anyhow like I said I want to try to consider maybe painting it and then take it to the field and see what it can do